Hello everyone. Today I want us to talk about smartphone CPU. Everyone in the world is using smartphone. But you might not understand what makes your smartphone serve you well the way it serves you. And today in our first lesson I want us to talk about smartphone CPU. Smartphone. It's a smartphone. My smartphone here. So I want to talk about the CPU. Now, when we buy phones, we look at different uh, things. There are so many factors that make us consider buying phone A and not B. One of the factors is you are just buying because of the manufacturer. You are buying a Samsung phone, you are buying a Techno phone, you are buying an Infinix phone, you are buying an Apple phone, you are buying uh, a, a Xiaomi phone, you are buying a Vivo phone. But today, I want us to understand another factor apart from just the manufacturer, apart from the operating system, which we will talk about one of these fine days. Apart from um, the network provider, eh? you know that you can buy a phone just to support the network provider you love. In Kenya here we have Safaricom, Telecom, Airtel, Fiber, Equitel. We are not talking about that today. Today I want us to talk about another good factor that can make us buy a phone and those of us who are in phone repair we really need to understand uh, mobile phone CPU because sometimes you might misdiagnose clients phone because you don't understand how CPU works stay tuned what is a mobile phone CPU? CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. Central Processing Unit. Some call it a processor. And indeed it is a processor. So, I have a motherboard here. I have a motherboard here. And when I look at this motherboard, this part here, is our CPU. Now CPU it works like it when you look at how it works it's like it's just in the space it is in the air but we integrate we have CPU is just like any other I see it's a chip. Now this chip here this integrated circuit here this I see is our CPU for this phone. Remember this phone has several ICs. We are seeing these ones, they are ICs. These are ICs, this one. But this one is the CPU. Uh, one of our lessons, one of these fine days, I will teach you how to identify a CPU on a mobile phone. But for now, just know that this is our CPU. Now, I want to talk about this thing. And our first lesson, we are going to look at how it works. We are going to look at what a CPU is and how it is segmented. So let us follow our lesson. Now, CPU have said that it's a processor. It's the central hub of your smartphone. Now, being the central hub, in electronics, we, we talk about it as a brain of the smartphone is the brain it is the brain because it co receives commands makes instant cal calculations and sends signals throughout the device is the one that sends signals throughout the de device what are the signals when you're talking about you want a gallery on your smartphone that gallery you give you input the instruction that you want gallery so 
signals in terms of binaries, they move, the digital signals moves across eh, from this, the, your touch screen to the CPU and from CPU back to your display. How do you get? So that's how it makes uh, sense signals. It does calculations. It does a lot of things. But now, on our electronic circuit, this is what CPU does. It executes instructions. Instructions are you want to uh, shut down your uh, smartphone, your computer. It, the CPU helps us to do it, to get that instruction. And at the end of the day, the, your device is shut down. Um, another thing, it also performs basic arithmetics logic and controlling of your system so in a given programs so i want us to understand that but i want to move uh, to another level cpu has very tiny uh, cells uh, things inside there what we call core so a core is a tiny processor bit and bit i mean BIT that has worked to execute operations. So it is the bit, the, the core that executes, that does this mathematics, does this logic. So executes operations, performs the calculations, and every required information.